is a critical lifeline that literally brings life to the desert. It has a profound impact not only on humans depending on it, but also on a range of wildlife and birds. It shaped more than just the Egyptian religion and culture, but had an impact on other nations living around Egypt. Come and join us as we take an amazing sunset cruise on this most powerful river in Egypt. Welcome back. We are on another adventure. You're going to love this one. We're in the streets of Cairo, but not only on the streets of Cairo, we're next to the Nile. Our first adventure, crossing the road, then I'll tell you what we're going to do. This is definitely one of my bucket list items, a cruise on the River Nile. But the reality only struck me once we got onto the boat and I was overwhelmed with the beauty and the majesticness of this major river. The Nile River. Oh my word, what a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a sail a nice evening sunset cruise on the Nile. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. Eh? The Nile is a major north-flowing river in the northeast of Africa. It flows into the Mediterranean Sea and it's considered as the longest river in Africa and has historically been thought of as the longest river in the world. Though this has been contested by research suggesting that the Amazon River is slightly longer. The Nile is often associated with Egypt, but in fact, it flows through 11 countries. Tanzania, Uganda, the DRC, Rwanda, Burundi, Ethiopia, Kenya, Eritrea, South Sudan, Sudan and Egypt. We are enjoying a nice sunset cruise here on the Nile, relaxing after a very amazing day traveling around and seeing some really awesome stuff, visiting some awesome places. It is very evidently that the Egyptian civilization is built around the Nile, as most of the country is dust and sand. But this river brings life not only through agriculture, but all economical activities associated with the river. It's a wedding. This mighty river has two main branches which meet to form the Nile. The one is called the White Nile which starts in South Sudan and the other one is called the Blue Nile which starts in Ethiopia. The Blue and White Nile merge together in the city of Khartoum in Sudan. 
and the water follows its path to the Mediterranean Sea. Clearly, our sunset cruise on the Nile turned out to be a major photo session for the whole group, as they are a bunch of media students. So this turns out to be quite nice. The ancient Egyptians relied on the Nile for fresh food, water and transportation. It also provided them with fertile land to farm on. In order to benefit from the Nile, people who lived along the banks had to figure out a way how to cope with the river's annual flooding. However, because of the Ashwan Hyde Dam built in 1970, the Nile no longer floods each year. The huge dam controls the flow of the river to generate electricity, irrigate farmlands and provide homes with drinking water. More than 95% of the country's population depends on this water and live within a few miles of the river banks. The river and its banks are also home to a lot of wonderful wildlife, including different kinds of fish and birds, as well as turtles, snakes, hippos and one of our planet's largest reptiles, the Nile Crocodile. Unfortunately, this awesome trip is coming to an end and we have to go into the buzz and, and lively city of Cairo to go back home again. Although I must say there is a lot of, there is going to be a crash. It is time for dinner and our tour guide knew a perfect spot where one of the top falafel chefs would introduce us to this delicious dish. So we just got dropped in the middle of the streets here in, in Cairo and uh, we got to cross the street and crossing the street is not that easy. Okay, we are here at El Wahi. I don't even know if I say that right, but we are gonna taste and eat falafel. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like, so let's try it. Falafels are a vegetarian street food eaten through the Middle East. They are deep fried patties made from grounded chickpeas or fava beans mixed together with herbs and spices. They are traditionally stuffed into a pita with a range of fresh veggies. But clearly here, Chef Raheb is adding his own touch with various extras that he's adding into the pita combination. Okay, here it goes. Good. This is good. This is very good. Thank you. This man made it. Very good. Rahim. This tastes very good. Rahim. Chef Rahib. Come here is absolutely amazing and remember to like, share, subscribe. Ah. Like, subscribe and share. We'll see you guys next time again. El King Palafe. I King. <laughs> <laughs>